What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. So we've been talking about peptides lately, and there's one that, well, yeah, I'm really, really excited, excited about and interested in. And this is a peptide called GHK-CU. It is a copper peptide. Now, I am taking it right now. It's part of a blend I'm taking, and this is called CLO. K-L-O-W. Now, it's mixed with other things. We're going to focus on G-H-K-C-U. If you want to know about this, nextgenpeptides.shop. That's N-E-X-G-E-N-P-E-P-T-I-D-E-S, nextgenpeptides.shop. Coupon code Lowbliner, like I say, not an employee of those companies. I just, I've seen their lab essays. I've kicked the tires. Them and peptidepro.io. P-E-P-T-I-D-E-P-R-O dot I-O, both coupon code Lowbliner, and um, those are the two sites that I trust. So again, if you have a site you trust more, do your thing. It's just you always got to be careful with these kind of things. So GHKCU, you know, you can put this up against real scrutiny, and it's going to hold its own. So it's naturally occurring in the human body, decades upon decades of published research behind it, consistent consistent signals in skin quality, tissue repair, and regenerative, regenerative signaling. The combination is rare where you have plenty of data and real world anecdote to back up what we think this peptide will do. So it's not a miracle compound by any means. It's not a miracle cure for anything. It's not a replacement for training, nutrition, or skin care. It's not that. What it is, is one of the most biologically legitimate peptides available when you use it properly. So understanding what GHKCU does, what the data actually supports, and how to use it responsibly matters more than anything. So what is GHK? Well, GHK is a naturally occurring tripeptide composed of glycine, histidine, and lysine. When it binds copper, it forms GHKCU. Levels of this peptide decline with age. And you know, I'm getting old as fuck, which is one reason it has been studied extensively in aging, skin regeneration, and wound healing. So unlike many synthetic peptides, GHKCCU exists naturally in plasma, saliva, your Hoctua, and your urine. Good old golden showers. That alone makes it biologically interesting, but its signaling effects are what make it valuable. Now, you're following me here, kind of like BPC-157, is that it is naturally occurring in the body. You're giving your body more of what it has as it declines with age or with other issues with producing enough. So what does it do? So it supports collagen, elastin, and extracellular matrix remodeling. So the strongest and most consistent research around this peptide are its effect on skin care structure and tissue remodeling. So research repeatedly shows that GHKCU influences signaling pathways involved in collagen production, elastin organization, and overall extracellular matrix quality. So let's think about this in practical terms. It supports improvements in skin texture firmness and resilience over time. I will say that I'm still wrinkly as shit at 45, but it appears to be tightening a little bit. And I've been using it for about three weeks. So we'll see, because I plan on using this glow or another one I did a video on glow for a period of time. It's not about reversing aging. It's about supporting the biological processes of aging as we get older. So effects on skin appearance in controlled human studies. That's right controlled human studies on this. If you look at the literature, it did show improvements in skin quality metrics, including wrinkle appearance and dermal structure. So in GHKCU, it can be used topically in appropriate formulation. So it can be used as a cream. Some studies compare favorably to commonly used cosmetic ingredients with the context of those trials. So it's important to understand that research often shows mixed results because of formulation, duration, outcome measures, all these things that go into designing a study. But overall, shows promise. So wound healing and tissue repair signaling. So preclinical models, GHKCU has been shown to accelerate wound repair 
and improve tissue remodeling signals. These findings align with its known role as repair-oriented signaling peptide. It doesn't mean it heals injuries on its own. It means the underlying biology supports its role in recovery and regeneration, which is why in a product like Clo or Glow, K-L-O-W, not C-L-O-W, it works alongside TB500, KPV, BPC157 to help you recover. And I swear by it as someone who still has lingering effects from old injuries. Um, yeah, so hair is scalp environment sport. Now, my hairline isn't what it used to be. It's not as bad as some, not as good as most. But it's frequently discussed in hair-related contexts. You look at the forums, not forums, but like if you look at like the internet, right, like fitness Twitter or peptide Twitter. So um, it also has sort of, it's heard talking about follicle environment quality. So human data for hair regrowth is less robust than the skin literature, but the mechanism is plausible and supported by the broader tissue repair research, so to speak. So in real world use, people often reports improvement in scalp quality and hair appearance rather than saying their hair regrew. And that matters. So gene inflammation and gene expression and inflammation related signaling. So one reason it's developed a strong reputation is it's influence on gene expression and laboratory research. So studies show it modulates pathways involved in inflammation control, antioxidant defense, and tissue repair. So that's where the marketing kind of goes too far. You can't claim it cures diseases. Sorry, guys. It doesn't cure anything. It does help with things, though. So who does this work for? Well, if you're getting older and you want to maintain your appearance without looking like one of those dogs with the really wrinkly-ass faces, you don't want to look like a pug, probably good for you. Skin quality, aging support, anti-aging benefits, tissue maintenance, maybe scalp health and appearance. Maybe you're losing your hair. You think it might help you prevent some. I'm not going to make any claims for that. I'm not the authority on hair loss, obviously. But here's the thing. It's a supportive role, not primary. There are other things you can look into to help with these processes. So as far as safety, topical GHKCU, very well tolerated. Injectable, again, consult with your doctor. That's currently how I take it. Um, but again, I'm not your doctor. Consult with your doctor. Um, as for dosing, so frequently topical, um, they say to begin with three to four nights a week. That's what I've found. Um, people usually recommend if tolerated, increase to nightly use. Basically, make sure it doesn't mess up your skin. Um, what to expect. It might give you hydration, firmness, better skin feel. Um, then we're going to go down to, let's say, at scalp use once daily, topical, whatever. Y'all are here for injectable. So again, talk to your doctor. I don't recommend this, but this is what people are talking about. And we're going to just talk about what people are saying. I'm not saying do this. So if you look at what subcutaneous injections, um, generally one milligram a dose, one to three times a week, cycles usually four to eight weeks on, followed by some time off. Um, that's what people are doing. Um, as far as something like a clow or a glow, yeah, you're gonna be taking this. It's usually daily for you know two to four weeks, and then you take time off. But those are things I'm going to tell you to research online. I'm going to tell you to do your own research and talk to your own doctor. I know a lot of doctors, a lot of practitioners who do use compounding pharmacies to prescribe this. So talk to those kind of guys. So um, for skin outcomes, um, what do you stack it with? <laughs> Sleep, hydration. Don't spend too much time in the sun. Some sun's good. A lot of sun's bad. Maybe some collagen protein. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Some people argue that. Some people claim it does well. Um, that's that. Uh, for recovery and tissue support, the glow and the glow as far as peptide support, I'm always going to say every peptide should have Go BHB alongside it. Um, if you go to tigerfitness.com, that's tigerfitness.com, coupon code MAHA, gets you 10% off the entire site. Honestly, rest, 
recovery, nutrition, simple things, live a healthy life. So the bottom line is um, GHKCU is one of the most research-backed peptides we have. It has legitimate biological grounding, st strong, strong skin-focused research base, and a lot of real-world topical use history. So the problem is not the peptide. It is mismarketed a lot. So use conservically, use conservatively <laughs> through your cervix. <laughs> uh, use conservatively, right? Um, have realistic expectations. If you use a topical version, yeah, it might make your skin a little smoother, a little more firm, a little better. If you use it injectably, you know what? As you have to talk to your doctor first, it might be something that really helps you out. It might be something that really helps you out as far as recovery, repair, Maybe make your skin look better. Maybe make your hair look better. Something again, consult with your doctor. Anyway, guys, tigerfitness.com. Get your 10 off the entire set with coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A, MAHA. Also, if you're looking for peptides, two sites that I like, peptidepro.io, that's peptidepro.io, or nextgenpeptides.shop, that's N-E-X-G-E-N peptides.shop. Kumo code Lowbliner for both of them. Get you some money off. Not even sure how much, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. I just asked for a coupon code so I could tell people where to go after I looked into them, kicked the tire and tires and found out, well, they're not using bunk shit. Anyway, guys, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on notification bell, and comment down below, have you used GHKCU and do you like it? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Mark Globeliner. Just having awesome skin. Man, I wish I did. I think my skin's pretty nice, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you one thing my skin isn't. It's not a game.